Good morning, beautiful. Oh, Jay, what are you doing here? This is my bedroom. So what am I doing here? Well, it's bound to happen. <laughs> what was bound to happen? Two people attracted to each other. You know, after a few drinks, you know. What did we drink? Don't tell me. We had tequila. Yeah, well, there was some tequila in our margaritas that we had. And probably some tequila in the tequila shots that we took. <laughs> Whoa, where are my clothes? Oh, my God. You mean, uh, this? Right here? Here you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Cheryl, <laughs> apparently you got a piece of Jay, the dream weaver. I just can't believe this. Yeah, what is the big deal? So we slept together. I mean, it could have been worse. You could have woke up with Smitty. Ooh. <laughs> no, it's just that um, it's a lot to take in at once here. Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh, no, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> How do you like your eggs? I'm not hungry. I'm processing. Mind if I'm, I'm going to sleep with someone, I would like to at least remember it. Well, so would I. <laughs> I have an idea. Let's, uh, let's make some new memories. Oh, come on, Jay, I'm serious. So am I. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get serious. Obviously, this isn't the ideal situation. So, how do you want to proceed? I don't know. Huh? I mean, I tried to resist you. Obviously, the drunk me finds you mildly attractive. <laughs> Mildly. Uh, I remember parts of last night, and the drunk you finds me muy caliente. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I must have been muy loco. Uh, okay, should I take that as an insult? <laughs> no. Look, I, I made a promise to myself that the next time I got into an intimate uh, relationship, I... Let, let me fill it in. Uh, so you dreamed of someone taking you somewhere like, um, the south of France. Being wined and dined on the French Riviera. Am I in the right ballpark? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me just say, your expectations are way too high. <laughs> Get over here and eat this French toast. <laughs> Five dollar change. Right. Thanks, brother. See you next week, man. All right. All right. Who's next? Well... I don't believe in waiting in line, so if I'm not next, I'm gonna have to find a better qualified bar. Oh, man, well, you know, we cut hair up in here, and you look like you're looking for a plastic surgeon. And from the looks of the last guy who walked out, you must be cutting hair for free. <laughs> Benny, let's try it, brother. When'd you get out? Oh, uh, man, whatever. But seriously, you gonna let me cut in line for what? Oh, yeah, no problem, man. Those are uh, Jay and Smitty's customers. Come on. Oh, cool. Well, where are Jay and Smitty? Whoever the hell they are. Oh, man, that's, uh... My pops and, uh... Your pops? Yeah, but it's a long story. Well, man, how you been, man? How'd you find me? I, mean, I ran into your mom's. She told me where I could find you. Hey, so how you just gonna move to L.A. and not look me up? Man, I didn't know you lived down here. Matter of fact, when's your move down here? I've been out here for over three years now. Ooh, I know you must be giving the honeys a run for their money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not like that anymore. What? Good and plenty, Benny? Man, how many women you got now? One. One? You mean like one on the side? Because you used to keep a pair, a spare, and an ace in the hole. Yeah, man. I, but that's how I used to get down, all right? That's all changed. Married? You? Hell no. Oh, hell yeah. What the player's player? Yeah, I found the one to tame my heart. Oh, man. Tony. Tony? What? Tony? Oh, man, wow. Hey, man, it's, it's all good. I didn't even know you got down like that, but hey, whatever floats your boat, brother, no problem. No, 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 nah, man. Tony's my wife. It's short for Antoinette. Oh, okay. See, that makes more sense, man. <laughs> but what doesn't make sense is somebody snatched you off the market. Best thing that ever happened to me. Oh, my goodness. So what about you? Still happily married? 
<laughs> yeah, about that uh, me and old girl didn't make it. <clears throat> man, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, man, it's cool. I got a new honey dip. Angelique. <laughs> oh, good for you. Yeah. Y'all serious? Uh, you know, we ain't thinking about going to the chapel anytime soon. Well, why not? Hey, look, man, life's too short. What? Who am I talking to? Benny, are you in there? Bring the homie Benny back, because you tripping. Come on, it's me, all right? I just changed for the better. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, brother. Next thing you know, you're going to tell me you're preaching now. Only on Sundays. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, it looks like you're running this place by yourself. Yeah, I know, man. Where is everybody? Man, sick crap sucks. Hey. About damn time. Where the hell you been? Where's Smitty? Now, I don't know where Smitty is, but I was wrapped up in a little Cheryl business. Oh, no, you did. I did, I did. <laughs> or maybe. What? I think so. I don't, I don't know. We we had a bit too much to drink. Mm, well, that yeah. explains all the empty <laughs> yeah. bottles and the Who's Your Daddy talk coming from your room. Yeah, wait a minute. You heard Who's Your Daddy? Yes. Oh, man, <laughs> that it must have went down. <laughs> uh, who's next? So, uh, was it all you expected it to be? Oh, man, I, I do not kiss and tell, especially when I don't remember enough to tell. I heard that. <laughs> so has it been busy around here? Oh, man, hell yeah, it's been busy. Had to cut a bunch of your customers. <laughs> and don't ask none of the proceeds, either. But uh, you know what was real cool? Huh? One of my partners I grew up with came by and kicked it. What? Uh, wait a minute, you had customers waiting and you were busy kicking it? Come on, man, you wasn't even here yourself. Anyways, man, you be real tight back in the days. Boy was like one of the biggest players in the Bay Area. Yeah? Came down here and got snatched up. <laughs> so you got married? Yeah, man, I, I mean, I didn't even see it coming. In fact, got me thinking. Thinking about what? I mean, well, you know, me and Angelique were real cool and kind of miss having someone to come home to. Other than you. Man, you just got out of a relationship. I, mean, I know, man, but that was the wrong one. Hey, so, you thinking Angelique is the right one? Well, no, man, but it's all a crapshoot, right? I mean, who would have thought anybody would divorce Holly Berry? Well, you got a point. Listen, man, normally I would tell you that uh, marriage is for suckers. You know, I've been a sucker once or twice myself. <laughs> uh, but, you know, when, when you find that right one, you got to roll with it, man. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen with me and Cheryl? Come on, Jay, you barely know that woman. Wait a minute, who is the father and who is the son in this scenario? All right. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, it's not that I would marry Cheryl, but, uh, you know, it's not out of the question. Yeah, thank you, brother. So, uh, Jay, are uh, you mind covering for me? I wanna take my boy Benny out to lunch over at Mabel's. <laughs> so now you just gonna leave me, huh? Where the hell is Smitty? Dignity. <laughs> it's open. Open? Is that how y'all do it in this neighborhood? Oh, ain't nobody gonna rob me, Mabel. Don't test me. I love a challenge. <laughs> Mabel, what are you doing here? I got a remedy to knock that coal out of you. I got chicken beak soup with garlic and ginger because you know all the nutrients are in the beak. I got Orange juice, grapefruit juice, gin and juice. Cause we gotta get that vitamin C up in you. So there is a God. <laughs> How'd you even know I was sick? Well, I might be older, but I'm big on social media. I saw your tweet, bro. You're the only one that follows me. I guess that's why Jay and Kenny haven't even called. You know, my head been hurting all day. You mind running me over to the doctor? The doctor? The doctors don't know nothing. I got a remedy here that's gonna knock that coal out quicker than Usain Bolt if his ass was on fire. Yes. <laughs> what you doing? Flip. Ooh. That's terrible. <laughs> 
Well, Smitty, I wasn't expecting you to drink it. I mean, you were supposed to smell it to clear your sinuses, but I guess a little feet juice don't hurt nobody. You all right? Smitty? You look like something's going on. Smitty? Whoa. Smitty. Ooh. Smitty. Ooh. 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 Smitty. Hey, you need a little help in there? I noticed you didn't have no backflash. <laughs> You, <laughs> come here, little girl. Stand under the lights. Let me get a real good look at you. Ooh, you little hussy. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You got you some last night, didn't you? Okay, everybody, let's go get up out of here. Come on, sweetheart, you want me getting no weeds today? You want me getting a flat iron? See you later. Okay, I need all my full deets. It was nothing. Oh, it was something. Who was it? First of all, it is not your business who I sleep with. Oh, so you admit it, huh? Second, I'm an adult, and that's all I'm going to say. It was Jay, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. So you beat me to it. So what? So what? Look, there's no details. I don't even remember what happened. You don't remember what happened? What you mean? Tequila. Oh, one of those nights. <sighs> anyway, we were... Obviously too faded. We woke up together, and now I don't even know where we stand. Girl, what is wrong with you? What happened to your rule about dating people that you work with? <laughs> right. Duh, technically, we don't work together, because he owns the shop. Well, technically, he is your boss. <laughs> you know how Jay is. He's known to be a player and a stalker. Next thing you know, he's going to be coming up in here stalking you and messing around with you and all of that. What is he, a player or a star? I don't know. I'm not the one who slept with him. <laughs> what ever <laughs> you. Regardless, I know what I gotta do. I need to go over there and end things before things get out of hand. Wait, so you just gonna kick him to the curb like that? And Jay is such a nice guy. You a cold piece of work. <laughs> Whose side you on? Yeah. Mabel's Tables. What's good here? Oh, man, pretty much everything. You can't go wrong with the mac and cheese mm -hmm. and the candy jams. Get it by. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, man, but um, I want to talk to you about what you said to me earlier. What part? You know, about settling down with my girl. Uh, yeah. Well, look, don't do it because I did it. The thing is, I'm, I'm kind of feeling Angelique like that. And plus, I'm in school, man, and mm -hmm. being with one person would... Help me focus on that. I mean, unless it's, like, kind of too soon, you know? Yeah, well, that's on you to decide. I mean, I know when I was thinking about it, I did a pros and cons list. And, and that worked? Yeah. Because then I could see it all laid out in black and white. Mmm. Uh, uh, excuse me, wait. Can I borrow your pen and pad? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's a good idea, brother. I guess we're gonna uh, start with the pros first, huh? Yeah. Let's see, uh, first, he's a uh, fine as hell. <laughs> Great, end the list. <laughs> Come on, I'm being serious, man. Uh, let's see, she's smart. Mm. She definitely has a sense of humor, man. I mean, it's kind of like the right thing to do. So what about the cons? You know, she does have this annoying thing where she acts like questions really fast, one after the other, man, like, where you at, where you going? Right. It's like crazy, brother, but she, she, she's cool, she's cool. You know, she she does have a kid. Oh, how do you get along with the kid? You know, I actually get along with the kid kind of great, but would I prefer her not to have a kid? Right. Oh, another story, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right, so what's another cut? Mm, that's the thing, man. I don't, I don't think there are any more. That's not a lot of kinds, Kenny. Mm. Maybe you should put a ring on it. Yeah, man, maybe I should. Or well, maybe I should get my stuff together, man. I'm still living with my pops, you know? Or you can build with her. And you're both from the military? Why not use some GI bills and get a place together? Yo, man, for a demo, you finally using your head. <laughs> Whatever, all right? Are you ready to order? Yeah, man, um, matter of fact, where's Mabel? Ooh, I love this soap opera, Smitty. This is the one where Shantae and Daytron run off together after he gets shot at the pit bull fight for biting one of the dogs himself. Such a romantic love story. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start DVR on this one. 
It's uplifting for the community. How you feeling, honey? That remedy working? Oh, yeah, I feel a little bit better. Mm, you're still kind of hot. You're not so bad yourself, maybe. <laughs> well, look, I think I gotta lie down. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm gonna get on out of here, let you get some rest. Oh, she fits to go into the pool hall looking for her ex man. Don't go in there, Shantae! <laughs> AJ. There's my baby. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm almost finished cleaning up here. Um, you want to grab some dinner? You like Mexican? Uh, Jay. We need to talk. And there we have it. <laughs> Whenever a woman says we need to talk, whatever follows can be good. Are you okay? Yes. I mean, I got all these 911 texts. What's going on? Okay, Angelique, there's, there's no easy way to say this. Okay. So I'm just going to say it. <sighs> if, if you agree to marry me, yes. I, I promise to get you a ring. Oh, baby, I don't need a ring. Yes! Kenny, okay. yes! <laughs> <laughs> woman on earth oh, you know how i do <laughs> i can't wait to call my mother i'm gonna call my sisters i know baby we are gonna do it in hawaii <laughs> i was thinking more like downtown at the courthouse oh, but hawaii it is <laughs> baby this is so unexpected so how long have you been planning to propose to me <laughs> well you know i decided earlier today uh i oh. thought it was the right thing to do the right thing to do. I mean, it's not like I'm pregnant. I'm not sure what you're saying with the right thing to do. That's oh, cool. you know what I mean. You know, like a buddy of mine came by and uh, kind of got me motivated, you know? So your buddy came by and that made you want to marry me? Well, well, well yeah. I wasn't sure at first, but mm -hmm. he suggested that I make this little pros and cons list. So I made pros a list. Pros and cons? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds interesting. Can I see the list? Da, 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 I don't see why it would be a problem. No problem. Da. Just curious. Uh, sure. Ooh, thank you. you <laughs> Gross. That ass. <laughs> That's a good bro. Bear, baby. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good start. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. So I ask questions really fast, and that annoys you. That's what I do. I ask questions really fast. No, barely, barely. I mean, I actually think it's kind of cute. You know, it's really cute. You know what's missing from the pro side, Kenny? What, babe? That you love me. Well, well that's not there. Oh, you know, I guess it's not there. It should be right there under Rose. <laughs> it's not there, Kenny. Yeah, I see, you noticed. And my daughter, she's a con? No, no, not like that. I, no, I, nah, not at all. I mean, mm -hmm. I, would I rather you not have a kid? Oh. Sure, I mean, but now that she's existing, I'm cool. Also, you're cool with her existing, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. what's wrong? I mean, where the attitude? No, I ain't got something? no attitude. You call my kid a con and then you ask me about my attitude? No, I mean, I mean, yeah. Why are you tripping? Why am I tripping? <sighs> Kenny, you are one of the least mature people I have ever met. Well, you know what I think about your... Marriage proposal? <laughs> yeah, you think we should get married in a way? I think we shouldn't get married. Matter of fact, I think we should break up. What? And if your cheap ass had the decency to buy me a ring, I would throw it in your face uh, and I hope that it would gouge your eyes out. Wait, that's it. Wait, 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 stay away. What? No means what? no, Kenny. What? Ah, what? 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 What just happened? Oh! Oh, so girl, how did he take it? Mm, he's all right. Once I picked him up off the ground and he stopped crying. Crying? Girl, I knew he was weak. He didn't cry, fool. Percy, we talk like adults. Why do you always look for the drama and everything? Because I am a drama queen and you are just a drama peasant in my drama queen. Day. That makes no sense. You don't have a use. Hey, Sean. We need to talk. Ooh, again, this is gonna be good. Uh, Jay, 
Let's not complicate things, okay? Let's just leave it in the past and move on to the future. <laughs> just listen, I... I was thinking, I, I like you a lot. And I respect the fact that you don't want to date your boss. Great. Do we have an understanding? But, but I was also thinking, what if you bought the salon from me? Then I wouldn't be your boss. Ooh, girl, he does have a point. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but Jay, even if I wanted to buy the salon, I can't afford it. Why don't I give you a loan then? I don't want to take your money. No. <laughs> No, it's called a, a seller's finance. You, you would pay me back uh, with interest. I don't know what to say. Oh, you better take that money. I got a deal, Jay. So, I am uh, no longer your boss. This is the craziest romance I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen crazier romances happen. <gasps> You're right, man. I feel so much better. I told you I'd get that coal up out you. Good Lord. Let me hit that. Oh, thank you. You know, honestly, girl, uh, I never felt this way before. You got me, you got me all turned up. You know, in life, sometimes we got to come to terms with things, and so these are my terms to you. I was just a soul food fan. Now you got me all emotional, and uh, I don't know what is true, but whatever we do, we got to let nobody know. Because uh, it would just be awkward for everybody. You know, people wouldn't be able to get their food without thinking about me and you. So we got to keep it secret, baby. You feel me? Oh, I feel you, Big Smitty. I, I feel your little secret thing. I mean, shoot, I did it with all the Isley brothers back in the 78. How you think they got the lyrics for them sweet-ass songs? Girl, you light my fire. Speaking of fire, I'm gonna need you to eat this sandwich, get your energy up, because you're gonna be missing another day of work, because we about to be firemen and fire victim. And I got the fire hole. Mm, I hope you're gonna tie me up with it. <laughs> we'll see. can't be that bad. She'll come back. Yeah, I don't know, Jay. I mean, this is pretty serious, and, and she's really sensitive, you know? Yeah, see, that's why you need a lady like Cheryl. She's not sensitive at all. <laughs> Hell, sometimes she makes me feel sensitive with her fine ass. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't get her back. I mean, she's not answering any of my calls. Uh oh Now, that's not good. Uh, Cheryl, she answers all my calls on the first ring. Let me show you. Hey, baby. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you how fine you are. Now, I know you you right next door, but I, I was thinking about you. All right. <laughs> no, you too cute. <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> All right. Toodles to you too, boo. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> see, that, that's, that's great, man. It's nice to know that you and Cheryl are two happy peas in a pod, but yeah. that's not helping me out right now. Oh. Well, uh, maybe you should cut her loose, man. Is that what you would do? What, to Cheryl? <laughs> Hell no! Nah. Man, she is my everything. She is the air that I breathe. The, the motion in my ocean, man. <laughs> Move on from Cheryl? 
Man, you really are tripping. Nah, look, look, great talk, Jay. I love your fatherly advice. That I can help. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what's up, fellas? What's up? Where the hell have you been for the last couple of days? Well, uh, Mabel had, uh... Mabel? I, I was asking what the specials are at Mabel's for lunch today. Hey, forget the specials at Mabel. You were MIA. No return calls, no texts. What's hey, going on? Nothing. I've been sick. I've been sick. I, I, I thought I had the Bulgarian booty flu. Uh -huh. I didn't want you to catch it. Yeah, all right. All right, man. We, we just didn't know what happened to you. You're right. I, I should have called you. I just... I was under her all weekend. And... Huh? Under who? The weather. The weather. You know the weather's always female. It's like, like Hurricane Starshima. Almost wiped that man out. All right. All right, man. Well, uh, as long as you, you're feeling better, <laughs> you know, we're glad to have you back. Hey, stop interrogating me, man. It wasn't like I was with nobody. I was by myself all weekend. All weekend. Nobody. 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 All right, <laughs> there you go. Looking good. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay, right? Yes, yeah. Uh, can I ask you a question? Uh, sure. Uh, here. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Is it always like this? Always like what? All the, the, the drama and the excitement. Uh, well, I don't know about drama and excitement, but this is a regular day at the shop. Oh, oh, so you can tweet, but you can't return my text? Okay, girl. Right on. It's on now. It's on. That's what I thought. Huh? My name's Cecil. Hey. And I think that your barbershop would be a great platform for, uh... Actually, you know what? Let me pitch you over lunch. On me. Uh, <laughs> well, sure. Who could turn that down? Uh, Smitty. Uh, you want to go to Mabel's with us? Mabel's? <laughs> Why would I want to go to Mabel's? Well, we... Do, do. You going to Mabel's? Yeah. Go on then. Have a good time. I hope you eat something. The food is great here. Hey, Jay. What can I do for you today? <laughs> Y'all have the uh, number nine and a shake. You want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> or ice cream? Uh, what are your specials? Well, we have a slow roasted, succulent, and juicy turkey breast sandwich with a hot drizzle of creamy gravy all over the face. Damn, uh, I'll have one of those. <laughs> I know you will. Let me get a number nine and a Smitty special. A Smitty special? You named a special after Smitty? He doesn't even like turkey. <laughs> oh, I know what Smitty likes, all right. Huh? Oh. Um, Jay, you act like he the only Smitty in the world. It's another whole Smitty that you don't even know. Ben Smith. We call him Smitty. And he's my mechanic. He gets under that hood. And there we go. <laughs> Fascinating. Anyways, Jay, um, the reason I asked you to this lunch is because I'm a reality TV show producer. Really? Yeah. And I think that your barbershop and your connecting businesses would be a, a great format for a new reality show called, get this, huh. Strip Mall Diaries. Huh. 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 Yeah, reality shows, you, it's all about arguing and, and throwing drinks. And, you know, that's, that's really not us. I'll take care of that, okay? Look, Jay, do you have any idea how much business being the star of a reality TV series will bring you? No, not really. <laughs> the whole world is gonna know Jay's Chop Shop. What? Yeah, you're gonna have lines out the door, and not just for Jay's cuts and your new line of hair care products, uh, but for Jay. Stop. Taking pictures with Jay, and you're gonna paparazzi all up in here. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. I know a little like stripper, and she was on a little reality show, and all I'm saying is that now she's making millions, and she's actually currently on Broadway. Stop. Oh, that sounds great. I could see myself on Broadway. Guess what? What, Jay? We are going to be on a reality show. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell yes. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for all my life. See, this face right here belongs on reality TV. OK, OK, well, we're, we're just in talks right now. <laughs> but this is going to be great for all of us. No, reality shows are the lowest form of entertainment. 
Come on now, I respect myself way too much to be ruining it on some dumbass television show. Oh, whatever, Miss Goody Big Shoe. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I did. Uh, Strip mall diaries. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> hey, son. Hey, did uh, Angelique text you back yet? Nope. Haven't heard from her in hmm, 17 hours, 32 minutes, 21, 22, 23 seconds. Yeah, don't worry, man. She'll call you. She'll call. Hey, but listen, on a brighter note, I did some more research on the reality TV. Man, there is a whole lot of money to be made. A lot more to life than just money, Jay. Look, man, once you do the show, you're going to have all kind of women throwing themselves at you. You'll forget all about Angelique altogether. Forget about my baby? But, yeah. About the woman that I love? I mean, have you no heart, Jay? Man, this reality TV thing is making you cold. What? OK, OK, look. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll sleep on the reality TV idea until morning. But I'm telling you this, you're going to do the show. Yes, whether you like it or not, I'm the daddy. <laughs> Move. You left some in my place last night. Oh, you can keep them, friend. I got another pair back there somewhere. Hey, what y'all talking about? Nothing. Uh, it's a rat back there, and I'm going to kill it. Yeah, hey, Mabel, let me get the same thing Kenny got. OK. Wow, so that girl's still freezing you out, huh? Yeah. I was thinking about stalking her. But is that too forward? Oh, no, that's a great idea. Listen, I do it all the time. Nothing says love like a good stalker. <laughs> You're not going to stalk anyone. I can't afford to have you in jail. Oh, that's sweet, Jay. What? No, I need you guys at work tomorrow. I have good news. <laughs> I decided to accept the reality show deal. That's great, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wasn't in my contract. I'm not a performer. You ain't got no damn contract, Smitty. And this isn't the circus. <laughs> this is my strip mall. And you're going to do the show. Well, it'll be against my will. Why is everyone hating? Found him. What? The rat? Uh-huh. Yeah, the rat. <laughs>
That was so pathetic. That is exactly what reality TV is about. Okay. Jay, um, can we go next door to Cheryl's shop? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, this is my ex-wife's old salon. Okay, where my new girlfriend now works, <laughs> Cheryl. Oh, uh, can we cut that part about the uh, ex-wife? Keep going, Jay. Uh, and uh, this is Cheryl. She works next door. I, I love it because she's close by and I can get a little sugar. <laughs> yeah, I, said, uh, I, I can get a little sugar. <laughs> Jay, with that camera all up in my face, are you gonna get a saltiness? <laughs> and I got plenty of it. Uh. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Just play it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My name is Percy, and I am here to give the world life. Honey, first of all, I am a glam machine. Love me, live me, breathe me. Okay? Baby, I was born for the drama, and I stay ready. Okay? <laughs> That's uh, Percy. He works with Cheryl. <laughs> He's quite entertaining. Oh, entertaining, huh? <laughs> Baby, I am the show. Let me let y'all know something, okay? Percy is not here to make friends. No, no, honey. <laughs> and Percy's gonna get his ass whooped and fired if he slaps me again. <laughs> You know, I'm thinking that we need to do a heart and heart scene with uh, with you and your son about the whole girlfriend situation. Yeah, well, we, we really don't have a heart to heart relationship. It'll make great TV, trust me. What you gonna do with that hot sauce again? Well, you know, I'm gonna have to handcuff you first. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take all this and slather all mm -hmm. over your. You two in a relationship. <clears throat> My name's Smitty. Well, since you just gonna burglarize our conversation. Yeah, me and Smitty got a little something going on. Now, I wouldn't call it a relationship, but we definitely have a relation. My name's Smitty. Yeah, I know. Oh, here they come. Close up. I'm Jane Kenny. Yeah. Yeah, well, son, I, I think we need to have a real heart-to-heart -heart talk about this whole Angelique situation. Yeah, well, it all started with the stupid pros and cons list that I wrote down. I, I heard it would help me figure out my relationship. I didn't finish writing down all the information about the pros and the cons. I was cut. This scene is just not working. Um, you know, let's let's move some people around. Yeah. Well, I, oh, I, I got some good stuff. Percy, lovely, my man. What? What's what this? Why is Percy here? Oh, uh, don't worry. Just just start your story over. Um. It just needs a little more drama. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and then look at Percy, he screams drama. He's gonna be the highest rated character on the show. <laughs> Action. So, Kenny, what you need to do is just apologize to Angelique, aren't he? Yeah! No, baby. What you need to do is tie her up, put her in the trunk, and then take her and drop her off in the middle of gang territory. That heifer be running back. Wait, wait a minute! Now, I thought this was supposed to be a moment with my son where I give him advice. Yeah. Jay, sometimes you just have to mix things up. Speaking of which, I have a surprise for you guys. Now. Hello, Kenny. Angelique! <laughs>、oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, baby, never meant for you to find that list. Oh, yeah. the, the fact is, I didn't even get a chance to finish it well, when you found it. Well, you know, it was very hurtful, Kenny. I don't know how I could ever forgive you. Well, well, that's because I started with the cons. You know, C comes before P in alphabetical order. <laughs> you gotta believe me, baby. <laughs> no, I don't, Kenny. But it's okay because I've written a little pros and cons list of my own. Allow me to start with the cons for the sake of your show. Number one, Kenny is short. <laughs> Kenny has really bad BO. <laughs> We get calls from bill collectors every day. I was gonna pay those. Although Kenny 
has big feet. <laughs> Kenny does not have oh, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, Kenny. Oh, Kenny. He gets the point. Well, it's fine because I'm done. Can somebody pay me my money? What? Somebody paid you for this? Oh, don't judge me. I need the money. Oh. I'm going to send my son to Colby Camp this summer because you know he really needs a positive role model. Well, you don't have a son. You have a daughter. Cecil said sons get better ratings. What? <laughs> and since this is a reality show... Where's my job support? Oh. Oh. I got the dogs! Hey, but th th that's the kitchen! Thanks! If you break it, you bought it! Hey, Cheryl, <laughs> you came by to give me the sugar you deprived me of earlier? <clears throat> no, Jay. I told you I do not want to have a public relationship. We do not need to exploit this on television. If you can't respect that, then... What? You're going to have to break up. Oh, 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 this is great. Keep rolling. Wait, <laughs> you, you, you're going to break up with me? Oh, before the camera. Okay. Uh, little girl, if that's the way you want to play it, <laughs> then we broke up. <laughs> Goodbye, Jay. No, wait, wait. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, you weren't playing? Mm -hmm. That wasn't for the camera? No, this is for real. Oh, my God. This is going to get us an Emmy. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Uh, no, Cecil. You get to roll it. Get the hell out of my shop. I, I should have listened to myself in the first place. This the reality show crap is ruining everything. You and your crew are a wrap. <laughs> Jay, look, I think you're making a big mistake. You're, you're missing out on a lot of money. Yeah, well, there's more to life than just money, you know? Not not much more, but some more. <laughs> now, now, now. Now, get to stepping. Get out! Get out, everyone! Me! Go! Go! Not you, Smitty. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that for? The sugar I owed you. <laughs> you guys really want to see the edited version of this pilot? Yes. Uh, yes. It will never <laughs> air. Let's watch it. Uh, Smitty, could you put it in? Yes, ready. Put it in. <laughs> Welcome to Percy's World, an exciting new show about the life and times of celebrity what? hairstyle men. Percy's World? What the hell is this? Yeah. See, when you started tripping on Cecil, he reached out to me about doing my own project about my life. What? Don't y'all love it? Anybody want to go bowling? Yeah. Let's do yeah. Well, peace then. Let's go over to Mabel's and get some macaroni and cheese. Yes. Ooh, first day, first day. Five minutes later, I'd have had to eat it myself. <laughs> there is nothing like smothered oxtails and black eyed peas. Oh, I was supposed to get the short ribs. Well, today you having smothered oxtails and black eyed peas. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to make a deal with that young lady over there. She got the last of the short ribs. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. somebody got a little action. Yeah. Here, take a couple of these breath mints, because the dragon's kind of loose. Go over there and make it do what it do. You got it. Mm. Hello. Hello. Uh, you look familiar. You you come here often? Yes. I think we've seen each other before, but um, not quite enough. Oh, is that right? Uh, well, look. It seems we had a, a mix-up in our orders. I was supposed to get those short ribs, so uh, 
I'm thinking we do a trade back and to make up for the trouble, I take you out to dinner tonight. Oh, well, that sounds tempting, but I have to work tonight. Well, no, why don't I pick you up from work? Or maybe you can come to my job and sit in. Maybe you can learn something. Oh, is that right? And what is it that I might be learning? Business finance. Hey, that's, that's pretty funny. You know, I'm taking a business finance course right now. I know, Mr. Clark. Oh, snap. I knew you looked familiar. You know, I'm so sorry, Professor Bradshaw. Well, how could you? I mean, since you've been missing so many classes lately. Look, uh, about that, see, what had happened was... No, no, no. I... Uh -uh, just stop it, Kenny, okay? Stop it. Everything that comes after see what had happened was is just BS, okay? I'll mm. see you in class tonight. Yes, Professor. And after class, you can take me to dinner for extra credit. <laughs> Man, you remember how cheap things used to be? Yeah, you didn't go broke getting a haircut? Come on, Jay. $30? Watch it. I still have a straight razor in my hand. Oh, you know what? 30's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you can go ahead and keep it a move. <laughs> a cool 40, my brother. You got me? Hey, man, listen. You get what you pay for. So look at it this way. Might cost a little bit more, but you're in a better neighborhood. Yes. I remember back when you could get jumped on the way to getting that 50 cent chips and a soda. Yeah, especially in this neighborhood. You, you might catch a cap for stepping on somebody's sneakers and, and don't wear the wrong color. Mm -hmm. You grew up in this neighborhood? Oh, yeah, man. It used to go down around here, too. Yeah, you grew up on the west side. Yeah, but I spent a lot of time around here. My grandmother lived on 109th and Kings Boulevard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you know Big Cheetah? Big Cheetah ran a gang in that area. Oh, you mean Kevin. <laughs> Kevin Brown, yeah, Big Cheetah. Yeah, I used to know him when he was little cats. <laughs> man, oh, man. <laughs> he facing two life sentences now. Hey, well, you got to know when to get out. When did you get out? Better question, when did you get in? I may have been known as Jay the Dream Weaver on the west side, but here I was known as Jay Bang. <laughs> Well, shoot, man, it's a blessing. Yeah. You know, you could have ended up dead or in prison like so many others. Yeah, well, yeah, sure. I did sit down for a minute. <laughs> sit down. As in arrested? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I told you there's a lot of things you don't know about me, you know? Yeah, uh, my grandmother, she, she had to bail me out, you know? <laughs> On her deathbed, God rest her soul, shoot. I made her promise that I'd turn my life around. Look at me now. Yeah, I'm an entrepreneur extraordinaire. Mm. Hey, you ain't hard. What'd you say? I mean, you were absolutely right. I mean, the food was great, but the service was the pits. You know, I have to agree with you on that. People acted as if they just didn't want to work there. Man, hey, but look, on the plus side, I got to spend some extra time with the professor. <laughs> Now, uh, I don't have any apples, but I do have wine. What do you take, red or white? Red, please. All right. Mm. Well, please, uh, have yourself a seat. Make yourself comfortable in uh, one red wine coming up. Wow. Nice place. You know, I've never dated one of my students before. I got to admit, I was, <laughs> I was expecting a dorm room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have a roommate. Uh, it's my father. <laughs> Right. Is that your smooth way of saying that you still live with your parents? Oh, no, no. Nothing like that. It's actually a long story. Matter of fact, it's a lot longer than the time I've actually known him. <laughs> mm. Am I to assume that this is an icebreaker? Something like that. So, uh, what do I have to do to, uh, get a better grade? Hmm? <laughs> hmm? Would you be willing to do anything? Oh, anything, hmm. Professor. Would you be willing to, um, study? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> okay. 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 I am not here to help you with your grades, okay? I just met a really nice guy who asked me to dinner, and I think he is funny, sweet, and attractive. <laughs> you know what? How about you get that bottle? Yes, yeah. Professor. Right. Would you mind if I get more comfortable? Oh, please. I insist. <laughs> oh, good. Ooh. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Where were we? 
So like I was saying, man, we started going at it on the couch, what, man. Hey, 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 hey. My couch? Would you drop it, Jay? We're trying to get to the good stuff. Go ahead, Kenny. I'm glad you messed up Jay's couch. Look, that's the thing, man. I couldn't go through with it. Uh, well, you know, something that happens to the best of us. Yeah, well, not us weavers. Well, what's wrong with you, man? You're making us look bad. Oh, no, it wasn't like that, man. I couldn't go through with it because of her feet. And? Man, they were hideous. They're like a mechanic's hand. It's like oh. hair, bunions, uncut nails, oh. warts. Look, man, I'm not sure, but I might even saw extra toe. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Depends on which foot. <laughs> And did they smell too? No, man, she smells perfectly fine. And that's the thing, she's perfect in every way, except for her ugly ass feet. Well, damn, Kenny, did you say something to about it? Man, what am I supposed to say? You got some ugly ass feet? What kind of man says that? You mean? <laughs> so you gonna see her again or what? Man, I don't know. She wants to see me again tonight, but I'm scared if I break it off, she's gonna flunk me. Well, man, it sounds like a delicate situation. One you have to handle very carefully, or you're gonna put your foot in your mouth. <laughs> This is serious, Jay. Hey, Jay, Jay, come on, come on now. Just take it easy. Kenny's new girlfriend is just, just trying to put her best foot forward. <laughs> hey, man, this ain't funny, man. She's not my girlfriend. All right, all right. There's no need to put your foot down. <laughs> OK, look, look, you guys don't believe me? I'm going to take a picture and show y'all. You've never seen nothing like this in all your days. Listen, don't get caught taking that photo. Yeah. You might be shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> what up, fellas? Hey, man, what's going on? What up, J-Bang? What you doing back here so soon? Uh, what I didn't mention to you earlier is that I'm a blogger. Mm -hmm. And your story inspired me, so I wrote a little post on you. Oh, you really? Let me see that. Oh. Right there. Hope you don't mind. I kind of took the creative liberty and did a before picture of you. Yeah. I wish you... Will you sit your ass down? <laughs> I, I, I wish you had told me I, I could have gave you an authentic picture. Damn, Jay, you really were a gangbanger back in the day. Yeah. If Jay is even your real name, I don't even know who in the hell you are. <laughs> Dang, Jay, I didn't know you was involved in a gang. Yeah, well, it, it wasn't a, a gang, per se, uh, but I had plenty of street cred, you know? I, there, there was Bloods and the Crips and, 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 and Jay Bang. <laughs> they wore red and, and blue, and I, I wore... Yeah, plaid. Yeah. But they they stayed out of my way. Dang. <laughs> I gotta go update this blog with this new information. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Oh, yes. Oh, Jay, before I forget, huh? I also run a nonprofit. And every year we give a community award to a black business owner who has really pulled themselves up by the bootstraps. Mm -hmm. This year we like to honor you. Oh, uh, no, yeah, I don't know, uh, Chauncey. Come on, Jay. Don't be modest. You're a role model, an example. Yeah, I am? Yes. Jay? Of course he is. Look, I work with a lot of troubled youth. And they'll love to hear your story when you win your award. Yeah. You can turn a lot of lives around, Jay. Mm. You could be a hero. Yeah. Say it with me, I could be a hero. I could be a hero. Say it with me, I could be a hero. Yeah, I could be a hero. You could be a hero, Jay. I could be a hero. I could be a hero. I'll hit you back with the detail. Hey, yeah. I'm really proud of you. But you know what I'm most impressed with hmm. is that I've known you my entire life and the way that you disguised yourself. By day, he was a regular kid, and by night, a hardened gangbanger. <laughs> Wait a minute, but something's not adding up. Plan? <laughs> well, he might have embellished a little, and I might have let him believe it. <laughs> so you really weren't in the gang? Yeah, well, it, it was sort of like a gang. I, I was in the drama club, and I, I, I played, um, a jet. So you lie. I'll shoot you myself. <laughs> Come on, what, what is the big deal? It's just a little blog. Little blog, man. This thing got 20,000 views in less than 24 hours. What? Look, man, you got all kinds of people coming on how amazing you are. What? Jay, man, you gotta come clean. Yeah, yeah, or, or I could keep up the facade and, and help a bunch of innocent kids. It, it's for the kids, Kenny. Please, what is the big deal? It's not like I'm not tough, you know? Oh, no, get, 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 get,
it's a car backfiring. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> hey, uh, what you got there, girl? Oh, this? Ah, oh, it's just a little overnight bag. I figured that I can spend the night here with you, and then I'll leave from here and go to work in the morning. Hey, that sounds great. Oh, perfect, because yeah. I've been on my feet all day. I am exhausted. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. Oh. <laughs> I know this might be straightforward, but... Would you be a deer and rub my feet? Huh? Rub my feet, Kenny. Uh, my dogs are barking. <laughs> or oh, growling. <laughs> hey, uh, I got you a little something. Yeah? Me? For, for what? Uh, for your birthday. Oh, that was three months ago. Uh, and I'm trying to make up for lost time. Please, open it. Please. Oh, socks? Uh, you girl, try them on. Nah, I'll try them on later. Oh, oh girl, you better better rock those socks. <laughs> I got a, uh, got a sock finish. <laughs> OK, OK. Ooh. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll try them on later, but I want you to see all of this. And if anything later, I'll wear them after you give me a foot rub. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking tonight, mm -hmm. maybe you and I can do a little role play if you're into that Oh, yeah, stuff, I can yeah. get down with that. OK, well, you're the innocent student. And I'm the sexy professor. Ooh, I can see that. Yeah, you come to my office for better grades, OK? But mm -hmm. you get on your knees and you beg. Ooh, I ain't too proud to beg. Good. And then we start getting into a little foreplay. Oh, yeah. yeah you suck on my toes. No, no. What? What? Uh, toes. It's good. Uh, uh, look, this, uh, this role-playing thing is hitting a little too close to home. OK. Uh, why don't we try to use our imagination more? OK. Like, like what? Uh, well, let's say uh, I'm, I'm the teacher, and, and, and you're the, the, the Catholic schoolgirl wearing the knee-high socks, you know? Okay. Or, or, or maybe I'm a sergeant, and you're a cadet wearing some, mm. some big-ass boots. Mm. Or, or, or maybe we're on a deep-sea expedition, and you're a sexy scuba diver yeah. wearing some big-ass <laughs> pins. Like <laughs> or maybe you're a doctor, and I'm a patient. Ooh, wait, 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 is that safe? Yeah. Maybe, maybe like, no surgery, right? No, 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 no. It's not that kind of doctor. OK. <laughs> no, no, it's more like I'm coming in for a regular checkup because I've been a bad, bad girl. Ooh, what did you do? Oh, well, it's more like what I did do. Uh, uh, what kind of doctor am I, like a gynecologist? Mm, you're my podiatrist. You're a foot doctor? Yeah, and I haven't <laughs> been applying my phone with him. You oh. gotta show me how to do it. Mm, okay. So you can grab it. Uh, uh, grab it. Uh, yes, can you rub it? Rub it. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't know if this is the right thing to do. What? Uh, think about it, Smitty. If I'm a neighborhood hero, we're going to have a lot more business at the barbershop. Hey, Jay. You know, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I sure appreciate all the customers. Uh, everyone, I want you to make sure you try the oatmeal cobbler. <laughs> yeah. Dinner is on me tonight, Jay. What? Oh, thank you, Mabel. <laughs> And dessert is on you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chauncey Phillips. And as you know, I do my part in the community to keep the youth on the right track. Now, it's one thing to talk to talk. It's another thing to walk to walk. When I met this brother the other day, I became truly inspired by his courage and his perseverance to go from a street thug to a prosperous business owner. So with no further ado, I'd like to present this year's recipient of Thugs Lives Matter Award to the one and only Jay Bang Weaver. Come on, get up here, brother. <laughs> Jay Bang! Jay Bang Bang! Jay Bang! Jay Bang! Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a... Uh, it's an honor to be here. Um, I I remember when I was a boy in the hood. <laughs> yeah, uh, a menace to society. Mm -hmm. See, I used to I used to drink gin and juice. Drink them both in, in South Central. Right there. Yeah. Hey, it's all about the colors. <laughs> Red and and blue makes what? Yeah, the color purple. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I I didn't want to end up in the penitentiary too. Don't want to go there. Yeah. So I decided to do the right thing. 
Others say they chose to, to set it off. <laughs> All I knew how to do was to use these, you know, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> hey, J-Ban. Yeah, brother. What set did you claim? Fool. <laughs> yeah, like I said in the blog, man, I, I'm me by me. You see, I don't need any organized group to define me. You see what I'm saying? That's right, that's <laughs> right, that's right. You don't need it. We looked up online, dog. Hey, hey, brother, that was a long time ago. That was in the past. No, no, no. It said you were in the game. Yeah. Yeah, it was the, uh, the... The Jets from West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> It, it said that on the internet. It said you were in the drama club. <laughs> Man, this dude ain't in no gang. He's a fake. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Sit down. Yo, he think he's straight out of Compton, <laughs> but he's just Blake, man. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all just. <laughs>all right I, I i did grow up in this neighborhood in the height of all the gang violence and depending on what color you wore you might have ended your life mm -hmm. and i might have overplayed my involvement at the climate at the time what was your involvement jay bang well i was a receiving end of several muggings so was i yeah do i get in the wool? man you ain't hard this is whack <laughs> Uh, Y'all tripping in here. You ain't on the streets. You in my establishment. And if you knew me, you'd know that Mabel don't play that. Man, we ain't playing. This fake up here playing, acting like he hard. Mm -hmm. Like he in a gang. Let me tell you something, little ninja. You think you all hard because you got your pants down to the crack of your behind <laughs> like you advertising? Do you even know what Saggy means? Do you know? Do you know? Huh? What do you know? What do I know? Oh. I know Jay might not be no thug, but Mabel ain't always been no cook. Where do you think I learned how to cook? Well, I'm going to tell you. In the federal penitentiary in the Blue Mountains of Kentucky. And let me tell you, that ain't all I learned. Oh, you was in prison? Locked down. And I can tell you, it ain't nothing pretty. Huh? Ain't nothing nice. Nothing nice. What were you in? Well, it was stupid, and I was young. But dude stepped on my sneakers. Oh, oh, oh not the sneakers, not the sneakers. And let me just say this. If I was to wipe this makeup off, you see a teardrop. Oh, you see her? Need I say more? <laughs> right there. Banging is for suckers. Yeah, suckers. And that ain't but two places you could wind up, either in jail or Boom. in the grave. Damn. Six feet under. Way down. <laughs> now, I was blessed enough to have a mentor to show me the right way, like we trying to show y'all little asses. Mm -hmm. I got myself together. I got my own business. But let me tell you, I would not hesitate to throw it all away if you think you're going to roll up to my spot and disrespect me and my peeps. Are we clear? <laughs> I, I, I got this, Jay. Are we clear? Because I can show you what I can do with this mallet all the way from this podium. She ain't bad with a barbecue fork, either. She'll yeah. stick you all in the back of your neck. You look like a vampire. You don't know Mabel. Mabel is a pit bull. She'll get all in the back of your neck. Down, 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 down. Are we clear, young people? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma all right, that's much better. OK. Listen up, everyone. There's been a change of plans. This year, Thugs Lives Matter War will now go to Maple. Well, baby, I didn't know all that about you. That's because only half of it is true. Shoot, I had to come up with something to keep these little thugs off our asses. Did you see that little mean one in the back?
back in the corner. The one with the little shifty eyes? Mm. Yeah, look like a little ant. Now, Professor, we need to talk. Look, I appreciate the A, but... Let me just... Let me just stop you right there, okay? God, you just... You just saw straight through me. I did? Okay, whatever this little fling was, it's over, all right? But, but, you, but you're breaking it off? Why? It's... I know this is gonna seem shallow, but it's your hands. My hands? Yes, yes. What's wrong with my hands? hands? It's just too small. My right? hands are not small. They are tiny. Okay, I need a, a a real man with real man hands, one that can, like, palm a basketball. Look, if there are any extremities here that are weird, they are not my hands, Look, believe me. Let's not make this into a bigger deal than it needs to be, OK? I will see you in class. <sighs> Hey. Hey, 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 and, and for the record, I was gonna break up with you first with your hobbit feet. Well, that's cute. Guess the shoe's in the other foot. There's nothing wrong with my hand. See what I'm saying? Ain't nothing but irresponsible brothers out here nowadays. What are you talking about, Smitty? You ain't heard about this football player got 16 kids by 14 different baby mama? That's just irresponsible, man. Damn. Well, at least you like two of them enough to have a second child with. It's like they got no self-control, right? They see a pretty woman and they get all googly eyes. I am not impressed by no woman just because she's cute in the face and thin in the waist. I'm like, oh, I learned about something. Awesome. You gotta learn something. I saw him at it. Have a little bit of that. No, that's a good argument. No, she no you don't look at an old woman and change that whole ass. Excuse me, Thomas. Hi, how are you? Uh, is anybody available to cut my son's hair today? I can cut his hair. You know, I do really well with children. I'm kind of actually, the first I'm the one that taught him how to cut. Yeah, yeah. You want to go with me? Uh, you are looking at the best fader in LA, baby. Uh, you know, right here. The thing is to have if you want, I could just, just give you a little trim of myself. Okay. Right you have here. to treat him. You got to have the right kind of clip. You know, when I see a full top of head is tender, and when you you want you got to get the right kind of clip. Mama, that you care about, and it's the care of the children that makes the difference. So good because I believe the children are the future and. Oh, man, why you sitting in my chair? What you got there? Let's check out this photo album, man. There's a lot of people in here that look like me. Oh, those aren't our family members. That's a trip to the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> the family starts on the next page. <laughs> that's a good one. Hey, who's this? Oh, that's your great 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 grandfather, Jebediah Weaver. Jebediah? What yeah. the hell kind of name is that? Is he Amish? <laughs> and how old are you if you knew him? Yeah, well, yeah, I never met him. I, that's just a picture. And why is he always frowning? Well, uh, back then it took 30 minutes to take a picture. I'd be <laughs> frowning too, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and who's this lady right here? Uh, nobody. Turn the page. I mean, now, come on, Jay. Who's that lady? Turn the page, please. Hey. Okay. Well, she's on this page, too. Matter of fact, she's in most of these pages. I mean, what's the deal, Jay? I mean, look, is she an old flame of yours? Uh, no. Uh, my parents wouldn't approve of us dating. Oh, she was, like, hitting that on the side oh, then, huh? Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's... That's my sister, man. Your sister? I didn't know you had a sister. Her name is Thelma. That's all you need to know. Now, give me back my photo album. Damn, what, I strike like a nerve or something? What's up with you and Thelma? Why are you asking so many questions, huh? We had a disagreement. We're, we're no longer on speaking terms, and, and that's that. Fine, man. Fair enough. I just found out I have an aunt. I'd like to know more about her. Like, where she lives, what she's up to. Well, she's dead to me, which means she's dead to you. You have a dead aunt. My condolences. <laughs> What's all this, ma'am? I'm already full. You ain't full. You ain't even got to the main course yet. Well, what is it? Well, we got fried okra, fried turkey wings, and some hot water fried cornbread. Mm. Oh, mm. that's delicious, girl. Yes, you sir. stuck your foot in there. Now I'm a whole foot, just my shoe. You still want to go see Al Green this weekend? Oh, absolutely. I wouldn't miss it for nothing. But look, there's something I need to tell you. Me and Al Green, we used to go out. It's a good thing y'all didn't. 
stay together. <laughs> but we did have love and happiness. I served him some grits one morning, and dude just freaked out. He just went out the house running. I thought I was full, but I could go for some of your grits. See, that's what I'm talking about. Let me check on my customers, then I'll bring it right out. All right. And how are you guys? You guys OK? No, you not. You look like you need some apple pie with some whipped cream and some walnuts and a cherry on top, because you're looking kind of thin. I need to fatten you up a little bit. Look at you. How you doing? Everything OK? Well, let me refresh this sweet tea for you. Whoa. Ooh. OK. I'm all right. Just a little vertigo. I'm going to get this for you. Ooh! Mabel, Ooh. Mabel, 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 Mabel. OK, cool. I've had this before. I know what it is. Just sit down. Mm. OK, stop spinning room. And stop. OK, I'm going to get back to work. I'm all right, y'all. No problem. Mabel! Ooh. Come on in here, Mabel. Now, you just got to lay down on this couch. Come on now. Right, Smitty. I'm Don't gonna be get you tripping. Up. I'm going to be OK. You are not OK. Cheap as you are, you dropped a plate. You are not OK. And the doctor said so, too. I own a soul food restaurant. I mean, high blood pressure comes with it. <laughs> Mabel, you got to do something. What am I supposed to do, Smitty? The doctor done told me to cut out flour, butter, Sugar, pork, and salt. Everything I cook got salt in it. You ain't got to eat everything you serve. Well, how am I supposed to pass all that delicious aroma and not be tempted to dip in the pot? Too good of a cook. That you are. OK, maybe I could do a few things different. I'm gonna get my ass up and get on back to my place because then my employees be to rob me black. Maybe, 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 maybe. Just sit okay. down. All right. Sit down. Okay. All right. Maybe the doctor was right and I can make a few changes. Yeah, yeah, sure you can. You know, it's just like that time I went to the doctor. He told me I had to cut down on cigars. I made some changes too. You quit cigar. No, I quit that doctor. Excuse me. <laughs> now, who has the meatloaf? That would be me. There you go, sweetie. And Jay, you, I think, had the short ribs. Yes, ma'am. Mm. With the side of colored greens. And Smitty, you have the trifecta. <laughs> Black eyed peas, smothered pork chops, and candy yams. Ooh, that look good. Thank you, Mabel. Big this looks good. great. Let's go in. Mm. Mm, Mabel? But what, what, what the hell? What? What, uh, what you talking about? Uh, uh, Miss Mabel, no disrespect, but uh, this ain't it. Mm -mm. Ain't what? The, the, I don't know what you did, but this tastes like, like, I don't know what it tastes like. It don't taste like food. OK, OK. I, ha I had to make a few changes to my recipe. Why? Why mess with perfection? Excuse me. Are you Mabel? Are you 5 0? <laughs> no, worse. I yelp. Oh, uh, that ain't so bad. <laughs> well, I just want to shake the hand of the chef and let you know that this was the worst meal I've ever had in my life, and I'm not paying for it. It's so nasty. Oh, excuse me. I'd like to see you try to get out of here without paying for it. What you gonna do? Oh, she... well, ladies, <laughs> I can't we all just get along? <laughs> Oh, you're the guys from the barbershop. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and I couldn't get anything done with you guys either. Well, uh, oh, you know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uh, why don't we uh, talk it over? I, I know of a real soul food oh. restaurant right down the street. Oh, OK. <laughs> no. Yeah. Enjoy your trash. <laughs> get your ass over here. What? Sit down. Okay. Sit down. Right, sure. right. My God. I want to. You guys act like you ain't never seen a all right looking woman. <laughs> uh, no disrespect again, Miss Mabel, but uh, that was a beautiful ass woman right there. <laughs> and uh, in all seriousness, uh, why the sudden changes? Oh, because 
guys, I had a health scare and I had to eliminate some stuff from my kitchen. Like all of this uh -huh. is vegetarian. No. Those collard greens, mm -hmm. they're seasoned with tofurkey. <laughs> to what? But this is not even meatloaf? Well, it's more like soy meatloaf. I substituted all the red meat for faux meat. Faux what? Well, get this. Look, look, I hate to ask, but are the yams even candied? Of course they're <laughs> candy. Oh, okay. I just Please. substituted the sugar for agave. Agave. <laughs> well, on that note, I agave go. <laughs> you guys enjoy your meal. I'm gonna go to Rocco's Chicken and Pancakes. Later. Hey, you ain't got no, leave. <laughs> that sapsucker didn't just walk out of here after I put my blood, sweat, and tears into that meal. <laughs> well, I can use some blood, sweat, and tears in mine, because right now, ain't no salt in this. Oh, y'all just, y'all just tripping. Ain't no difference. See, tastes just as good, doesn't it? Uh, hey, 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 where, where y'all going? You still got to pay for the food. Hey, let me holler at you for a minute. Let me explain. I will follow you home. I'll kidnap your children. I take EBT. Hey, uh, Smith, you want to get out of here too? No, Mabel's trying. I mean, the yams ain't bad. Uh, hey, say, Smitty, what do you know about Thelma? Well, from good time, she fine as hell. Everybody wants to see Thelma. No, I'm talking about Jay's sister. What you say? Man, he won't tell me anything about her. Kenny, I think you best just leave that alone. Oh, come on, man. What's the big deal? What happened between her and Jay? That's just grown folks' business now. Look, man, I am grown. I just barely met my dad recently. Now, come on, man. I can end up dating one of my cousins or something. You know, that's true. She doesn't live too far from here. But what, she lives in town? No, no, no. I didn't say that. You didn't hear, you didn't hear that from me, and I take it to the grave. I won't tell you till the day I die. So, uh, do you happen to know how to find her? No. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to. Not even if she lived in that big white building over there on the corner of Fourth and Halstead, second floor, third door from Ooh, the left. Yes, I yes. wouldn't tell you. Thank you, brother. Hello, Jay. Jay, who's that? Nobody. The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> hey, you must be Aunt Thelma. And you must be Kenny, my nephew. Oh, my goodness, it's so good to finally meet you. <laughs> oh, Jay, look who's here. What are you doing here, Thelma? Uh, I was invited here by my nephew. You invited this woman here? In my home? Without discussing it with me first? I tried to discuss it with you, Jay, but this this is not just some woman. Some, this is your sister. She's family. No, no, you got it wrong. We are related. You pick and choose who your family is, and right now, I'm having second thoughts about you. You know, Kenny invited me because he said you wanted to see me to apologize to me. Now, I'm starting to sense that's not the vibe. <laughs> Me? Apologize to you? Are you out your damn mind? Okay, see, this here was a real mistake coming here. Look, yeah. baby, uh, you and I can go and do lunch and get to know each other. Yeah. I'm about to bounce. Yeah. Well, uh, be careful, Kenny, when you go to lunch. Make sure you uh, have your wallet, because it might find a way in her pocket. Excuse me? Are you insinuating that I'm a thief? <laughs> what else do you call someone who stole my money? It wasn't your money to steal. And that is the problem. Your what are you is talking about? You wait, 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 wait. Settle down, y'all. Come on. Look, you stay out of it. This is between brother and ex-sister. You know what? I'm out the door. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, come on. Wait, look, we're all adults here. Come on, let's... Can we all talk it out? Please. You, you want to talk it out, yes. Kenny? Let's talk it out. When my father passed, he left us the house. He left it to me. He left it to both of us. He made you the executor, and you were supposed to sell the house. 
I did sell the house. Then where is my half? It's gone. I had to file bankruptcy. Oh, well, it serves you right. You blew my inheritance. No, I invested. What? Oh, look, you already had your own business, and I wanted to get mine started. That is a bunch of crap. Get out. You know what? I have been thrown out of better hell holes than this. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Jay. Wait, wait. Come on, you have to at least listen to her. Hear her out, man. You guys haven't spoken in nearly a decade. Come on, man. Auntie, what was your business? A video store. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, look, don't judge me. Now, it seemed like a good idea back then. Now, I did not know that they want to start shipping DVDs all over the country. And I didn't know nothing about no streaming. You know what, Thelma? That's your problem. You never know nothing about nothing. So in case you don't know, there's the door. Use it. Uh, who? No problem. Listen, Mabel. I think you might have taken this health kick just a little bit too far. I don't know what you talking about, Smitty. It's the best thing I could have done for the community. Well, how come it ain't nobody here? Because, because, uh, they be here in a few minutes. No, Mabel, listen. It's 3 o'clock. Everybody who was going to eat lunch already ate lunch. I know because I ate with them. You did? I did. It was right down the street. It was good, too. Here's the thing, Mabel. Nobody really wants to eat tofurkey. My belly dance instructor does. When you start belly dancing. When I figured out that that's the only exercise I already have the equipment. And I got a gym membership, and I got one of them juices. See, from now on, I'm going to eat to live, not live to eat. All right. You been back to the doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh... Yeah, I saw him the other day, and he said uh, cholesterol and high blood pressure and everything was copacetic. Uh, matter of fact, I'm almost back in that thong. And you. How could you tell Kenny how to get in touch with Thelma? What? <laughs> Kenny, you told on me. Aha! No, he didn't. You just told on yourself. Look, man, I was just trying to meet the rest of my family. I, she is not my family, and I do not want her in my home. Man, the kid's right, Jay. I mean, how long are you gonna hold on to this? I forgave her for losing my money. Oh. You what? What are you talking about? I invested in a video store. You invested in my sister's business that she started with my stolen inheritance. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Now, didn't nobody know nothing about streaming back then? We thought that the internet was gonna play out like disco music, right? <laughs> well, you know what, Smitty, I, I, I don't blame you. Oh, thank you, Jay. <laughs> because you've always been dumber than a box of rocks. Oh, Dan, that's cold, Jay. Listen, Kenny, I understand what you were trying to do. All right? And I'm not mad at you, but now that you know the situation, you should know that I never want to see that woman again as long as I live. My two loyal customers. And I get to meet Jay's sister. I have heard a lot about you, sister-in-law. <laughs> Can I get you guys anything? Uh, uh, no, just a check. You sure I can't get you some dessert on the house? Seaweed brand muffin with some almond milk to wash it down. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no, honey, we good. Yeah. Okay, suit yourself, I'll get you check. Thank you. <laughs> Look, uh, that's really uh, too bad what happened between you and Jay. I wish I had a little brother or sister. Yeah, it is too bad. You know, we used to be real close. Really? Did everything together. I mean, we ate together, we played together. I mean, we were even on the cheerleaders. What? Jay was a cheerleader? Uh, more like a spirit leader. <laughs> Look now, he only did, did it to get close to the girls oh. on the squad, you know? Yeah. But you didn't hear that from me. It's all good, all good. <laughs> but, but look, man, I just want to know, 
Why don't you just apologize? No way. I mean, the way that he's treated me for the past 10 years, honey, it will be a cold day in here before I apologize. Look, you know they say it always takes a bigger person to apologize to somebody. Hmm. Hey, guys, here's your check. Mm. And some nice little watermelon mints. <laughs> uh, I done already uh, added in the tip. Normally it's 20%, but I had to up it to 200%. Two hundred? Trying to stay in business, girl. Uh, uh, trying to stay in business. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Look, look, Mabel, this is crazy. What? Why you got to punish us all? Look, go back to your old menu, man. That's what the people love. His doctor said that no, I look, had the doctor don't eat here every day like we do. Hmm. Look, man, why don't you just add a, a few healthy menu items and Call today. I guess you're right, Kenny. I could stand to get some of my old customers back. Mm -hmm. I'm the one need to be watching what I eat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just ain't working, boo. <laughs> but Kenny, look, I'm gonna need you to help get the word out. I need you to tweet, uh, get a, a, a carrier pigeon with a note, <laughs> whatever you can. I need you to let people know that Mabel's Table Soul Food is back. You know what? I thought you would never ask. Oh, excuse me. This Hey, yo, Mabel's Tables is back. The unhealthy soul food is back in effect, baby. Yeah! <laughs> hey. Can I help you? I got you something. Just open it. Listen, now I can't repay all the money I used up. All I've got left is a bunch of useless stock. So, I got you. Sounder? It is still your favorite movie, isn't it? Remember when we used to come home and watch TV every time it was on? We knew every line. <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened to me. Can we just let the past be the past? I, I want my brother back. I want you back, too. I miss you. <laughs> Listen. Maybe we can watch Sounder together. <laughs> well, I would love to, but I don't have a VCR. <laughs> oh, don't even worry about it. It's streaming on Netflix. <laughs> what you know about Netflix, really? <laughs> Uh, not for you. Looks like you got a ticket. <laughs> Let me see that. Must be important. Oh, no. Move in violation. Final warning. Oh, this sounds serious. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Handle. <laughs> you, were you just gonna ignore a ticket? <laughs> Kenny, I didn't raise you to be this naive. Well, you didn't raise me at all. Now, do you think it's fair for a citizen who pays taxes also have to pay hundreds of dollars just because they were driving 70 miles per hour in a 65 zone? I mean, it was only 70, man. It just doesn't even seem fair. Okay, well, it's 93, but it's the same damn principle. No, no, man, you can stick to your principles as much as you want, Jay, but that's not gonna help you when they put a boot on your car. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend, Carlos. He has one of those keys that pops those bad boys off. <laughs> He lets me use a key anytime I get booted, and I give him a free haircut. Man, look, see these people like you not paying the tickets? That's why they're so damn expensive. You know, why should I pay for my ticket when we got suckers like you to pay? <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> You know a movie I seen the other night that I ain't seen in a while? Back to the Future. Oh, great movie, man. One of my favorites. 
So Michael J. Fox go back in time to interact with younger versions of his parents, and then he goes back to the future. Hence the title. Okay, so wouldn't his daddy be like, how come my son looks exactly like some guy my wife used to hang out with in high school? I'd be filing for a divorce. Whatever, Smitty. Hey, who's next? I'm next. Uh, you want a seat? Have a seat. If you fit. What the hell y'all looking at? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. So, uh, what are you looking for? You know, just a little off the top. You better get him to define little. It might mean something different to him. Kenny, do you mind? I'm trying to watch TV. Kenny! Uh, I'm trying to find my phone. Yeah, well, it's not in my ass, which is currently where you're looking. Yeah, let me dial it for you. Did you uh, try to retrace your steps? Uh, Where were you last? Was at the shop with you. Well, then why are you bothering me? Go check out the shop. You know what? Good thinking, Jay. I'll be right back. I ain't so sure that child is mine. Oh, my. Jay Weaver? Jay Weaver? No hobble English. Open the door. <laughs> yeah, hey, officer. Hey, uh, you looking for Jay? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think he's here. Let me, let me just check. Uh, Jay, you home? No, no, he's not here. Um, may I ask what this is in regards to? You know, so I can pass it on to Jay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you, uh, you, you, you need a a, a warrant. Yeah. Here's a warrant. Oh, great. Now, I, is this all necessary just because I didn't, uh, he, Jay didn't pay his ticket? Well, that and the fact that you removed the boot off your car. You, you mean Jay removed the boot off his car? I, I can't believe you'd do such a thing. And what is your name, sir? Jay. Wait, Jason? Beaver? I see some identification, Mr. Jason Beaver. Uh, shh. Oh, yeah, um, you know what, I, I, I left it in my car. Don't flank! Stop resisting! <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jay Weaver. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't pay my ticket. <laughs> I learned my lesson. <laughs> I, I, I'll pay it tomorrow. It's not that simple. Well, it, you're under arrest. Cough him. No, no, no. It, it, does, it doesn't have to be this difficult. Wait, 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 wait. No. Yeah. Hey, can we all get along? Yeah. I don't want to go to jail. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm telling you, it's not me. Come on. Come on, guys. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait. I have money. I have money. You guys like donuts? The chocolate. Sprinkles. Hey, hey, I can give you the name of the guy. His name is Carlos. He's taking boots off in every city. Damn. Hey, don't I know you? Uh, sorry, brother. You got me confused with somebody No, else. no, no, no. You're Donovan Money Wise. Hey, you try to scam my business. Shh. My... They didn't get me for that. What did they get you for? Don't worry about that. I foresee that I shall be released. Money wise? Mm hmm? Money wise? Mm hmm? Your mother bailed you out. Mm -hmm. You're free. Do you foresee your mama bailing me out? <laughs> yeah. What about your daddy? Oh, come on. Jay Weaver! <laughs> Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> it's me, Craig. Craig Peterson? <laughs> Man, I, I haven't seen you since high school. <laughs> How you been? 
I'm in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So am I. <laughs> in jail. <laughs> so what are you in for anyway? Uh, you know, just a, a technicality. Well, I'm in for first-degree murder. Oh. But that's crazy. Yeah. Because technically, it was second-degree murder. Oh, good. That is crazy. I mean, yeah. I burnt the library down. Mm. But what's the big deal? Yeah. I didn't know there was an old lady still in it. <laughs> that's second-degree, yo. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Technicalities are the worst. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I robbed this liquor store, right? But they ain't catch me on camera. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All they got was an eyewitness. Mm. So, of course, I had to take care of that eyewitness before trial. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but, but now they're saying that they got an eyewitness that saw me take care of the first eyewitness. No. <laughs> so, so now I got to go take care of another eyewitness. <laughs> I hate that when that happens. <laughs> yeah, I hate eyewitnesses. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, amen, brother. <laughs> and hubcap over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He don't talk much. <laughs> See that? <laughs> but you know what he's in for? Yes. Stealing hubcaps? No. No. Eating people. <laughs> oh, my God. What about you, Jay? What technicality brought you to jail? I, I, I was speeding. That's it? In, in a stolen car. <laughs> That's it? And I ran over a cop. Ooh, yes. Ooh, a cop killer. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it wasn't the car that killed him. I had to finish him off with my hands. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. <sighs> Kenny, what you doing back here? I thought you done for the day. Yeah, me too, man. I can't find my phone. Oh. Is this it? No, that's mine. Hey, can you call it? Oh, that's a good idea. It's ringing. Hello? You just answered your phone. That's not me, Smitty. That's the guy that got my phone. Ask who it is. Uh, may I have the pleasure of knowing who I'm speaking with? Mm-hmm. He said he won't tell me. What? Tell him to give my phone back. My associate would like it very much if you would give him his phone back. $300. <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. You tell him I said hell no. Nah. Tell him I'm gonna call the police on his ass. My associate said that he does not accept your offer of his phone for $300 and would like to counter with you giving him phone and him not calling the police on your ass. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you say? He said for every hour he doesn't get his money, he's gonna send a random dirty picture of you to a random contact on your phone. Dirty pictures? Oh, snap, I do got dirty pictures on my phone. Ooh, I got a text. <gasps> oh, Kenny, oh, my God, I don't need to see what you sent me that for. Oh, oh, man, I didn't. Oh, oh man, damn. Oh. I didn't do that, man. That's the guy that has my phone. Oh, damn, I got to get it back. OK, 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 I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. Let's steal his phone, take dirty pictures of him, and then send it to all his friends and family. Man, we don't even know who he is, and he's still going to have my damn phone. Yeah, this would be a whole lot easier if we knew where he was. Yeah, it would be. But wait, I got to find my phone app. That's great. What's that? Uh, it's a phone app that helps you track your phone if you lose it. All I got to do is log in from another phone and... Let me see your phone. Hell yeah. OK. Logged in. Locating my phone. He said, Mabel's tables? Somebody in here jacked my phone. You think it was Mabel? Uh, maybe. I wouldn't rule it out yet. You think it was that big ass guy from the barber shop early? Oh, yeah, of course it's that dude. What are you two doing over there, <laughs> Laurel and Hardy? You <laughs> hear you? Who do you mean? The big ass guy over there from the barber shop. That guy over there, man, he jacked my phone. Well, why don't you take your happy asses over there and take it back? Are you kidding me? Man, look at the size of that guy. Maybe we ought to just call the police. Oh, uh-uh. No, I called Tyrone before I called the police. I don't want him around here sniffing and snooping and finding out what I got growing in the back. Yeah. And plus, Smitty, by the time the cops get here, I'm going to take the picture to everybody in my phone. Oh, Mabel, don't, don't look at that. Oh, oh. My, Kenny, how you have grown. Oh, Lord. That's a G-17 if I ever seen you. Would you stop looking at that? I, I, I'm, I'm going to take it to the back and download it for my file. It's research, Kenny. Uh, 
Research for the common man. All right, Kenny, I got an idea. I go over there and I make some small talk. And once I got the wheel of my conversation wrapped around the axle of his understanding, I slip in a code word. But I'm going to do it real smooth like Billy D. Williams, so he won't even know it's a code word. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What's the code word? Uh, let's use a, uh, uh, oh, precipitation. P-R-E-C-I-P-I-T-A-T-I-O-N. I lost the spelling bee on that one. Man, look, a normal person would just say it's raining. And second of all, it's not even raining. Yes, but by the time he realizes it's not precipitate, you already had your phone back. All right, look, sounds okay. good. Just, just, just go. Oh, hello. What's up? Interesting weather we have on our side, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, man. Don't I know you? No. You the barber from Jay's Chop Shop. Not me. That's that cheap cologne you had on in the box. That's some other cheap cologne. I have a, a whole collection of cheap colognes. Not me. That's my brother, Gritty. Hey, have you noticed how much precipitation there is outside? Boy, this is a precipitating environment. I'm telling you, one of the most dangerous things that can happen is the precipitation that can happen to a man. Excuse me. Oh. You know what, Kenny? Uh, I think this was a bad idea. Yeah. You know something? I think maybe we ought to call somebody. Kenny, it would make more sense if we just talked to somebody about this situation, and now he's doing squats. Yeah. Do you just let this man spin me around? And they, uh, they pinned me in the warehouse. And, and the, the cops surrounded the place. How many cops? Two. Two. Huh? Yeah, three. Oh. Uh, 300? Ooh. Yeah, 300. <laughs> and on top of that, the warehouse caught on fire. No. <laughs> then what happened? I had to shoot my way out of there. <laughs> oh, you know. And eventually they, um, they caught me. Though. That is an amazing story. <laughs> You're obviously the baddest one of us all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know about the, the, the baddest, but uh, <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Man, for all that, huh? they're not giving away plea bar. Oh, sure. They gonna give your butt life. <laughs> Brother, you do the crime. You gotta pay the time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see where I went with that? <laughs> well, tonight is your lucky night, Jay. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> We're gonna bust out of here. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all messing with me. <laughs> no, man. We ain't playing around, huh? We don't play around with stuff like that. We've been playing this for a long time. What, uh. <laughs> Uh, you, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna skip this one, and I, I, I'll catch you uh, uh, next time. What do you mean, next time? There is no next time. Tonight is the night. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, you know what? Why don't you guys go ahead and go. You go ahead and go, and I'll, 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 I'll be the lookout. I'll... You don't have anything to lose. You, they already gonna give you life in prison. They can't tack on extra time after that. Okay. Well, you, you see? See, I, I already had another plan. Hey. I already had enough like, see, somebody was gonna bail me out tomorrow, and then I was gonna skip town. You see that? that I think that's a, a much better, much better plan. But you already know our plan. Oh, okay. God. Yeah. Which makes you an eyewitness. Ooh. And you know what Winston does to eyewitnesses is. <laughs> uh, Tic Tac's in order here. Uh, uh, listen, uh, yes, yes, I, I do. You know what? I, I, I don't see. Uh, what, what's the the, the, the the big deal about uh, eyewitnesses? I'm not leaving behind any more eyewitnesses. <laughs> but I ain't seen nothing. What Winston is trying to say is that you will be an eyewitness. <laughs> but once you see how simple the plan is, you'll be on board. Show him. Uh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So what's it gonna be, Jay? I'm in. Great. Oh, no, no, hey, wait, wait. Uh, you know what? I, I think you guys should go first. You know, it, it's your plan, and I, I, would, I would feel bad uh, about going first. 
Oh, All right, well, let's get moving. All right. All right. All right. <gasps> Police! Hi, <laughs> You are alert for guards. I got a little tickle in my throat. I can't. Hey, man, shut up. Yeah, shut up. And if we get caught outside, we ain't going back to jail. We going out in a blaze of glory. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> it's totally up your alley, man. Yeah. You're the baddest one here. All right. All right. Let's let's get out this hole and escape. Let's win. shut up, man. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have Tourette's. Yeah, I, sometimes I can't control my volume or the things that come out of my mouth. You know, cat, dog, guard. Yeah, you see. All right, then. Then you're next before you wake up the whole neighborhood. Oh, oh God. God. No, 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 no. Come on, man. I'm trying to help you. Please, please. All right. Don't, don't make me escape. Why? You have nothing to lose. I have everything to lose. I, I my. I might have exaggerated my story a little bit. Which part? Everything. Everything. I, I, well, I, I did get a speeding ticket, and, and I did have the boot. <laughs> so you never killed nobody? <laughs> I never hurt anybody. <laughs> please. Please don't make me escape. <laughs> please don't kill me for being a... I win this. Oh, stop probably, man. I ain't gonna hurt you. You was always soft anyway. Like a cotton ball. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. I'm not bad. I'm oh, not bad. Man. I know. I look. I, look. I know you're not. No, I know you're not. Okay. All right. Look. Look. All right. All right. All right. All right. We'll tell the guys that the guards caught us trying to escape, oh, that's and good. you sacrificed yourself that's good. so I we like could that. escape. I like that. I like that. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. Jay. Uh-huh. It was good seeing you, bro. Uh-huh. Let's make sure it's not another thirty years before we see each other again. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, get your ass out of here. <laughs> what? I ain't seen it. You are, you got a hole in the wall. Got him? Yo, tripping up here. Put him down, Paul Bunny. I ain't putting nobody down. Put him down. Yeah. Nobody. Um, Make me. Uh, 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 sit your ass down right there. Sit your ass down. I am tired of y'all fighting in my establishment. Sorry, Mabel. You better believe you sorry, and you gonna sit here and work out your issues like gentlemen. Well, uh, I'm sorry for whooping your asses. <laughs> well, you sorry for stealing my phone? You pay me $300, I am. We ain't paying you nothing. You ain't nothing but a crook. You can send them dirty pictures to everybody on that phone, starting with the A. To Arlene, on Augusta, whoa, whoa. on Alice, whoa, on Sally. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, can we just negotiate a fair price? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Man, my time is worth more than $50. Your time ain't worth nothing. Why don't you do something more productive, society, with your big ass, instead of eating up all the food? I ain't gonna sit here and be insulted like this. There's no way you're getting this phone back for anything less. Ain't this your phone? How about you get Kenny his phone, and I give you your phone? How you get my phone? Ah, just another one of Mabel's hustles. I was one of the greatest pickpockets on this planet. Mabel got plenty of hustles. How you think I got this restaurant? Now, get that boy his phone. Give me back my phone. Here you go. You can have a big phone. This has all been a waste of my time anyway. Don't you snatch nothing from me. Give it back and take it like you're supposed to. Sorry, Miss Me. And here, cussing. You know I know your grandma. And you tell her I said hi. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, a couple of punk asses anyway. Wait till I see you. Hey, boy. Wow. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you, Mabel. Welcome, little G17. Oh, Mabel, 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 why don't you let go? Mabel, 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 come on, come on, come on. Damn, what 
the hell happened to you? What the hell happened to me? What the hell happened to you? You could have bailed me out. Bailed you out? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a long story, but why didn't you answer your phone? I told you I lost my phone. Also a long story. <laughs> well, if you didn't have your phone, how did you text me this? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Weaver. <laughs> didn't need to see this. Yeah, man. Well, hey. So. 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 You guys have any appointments for today? Nope. Nope. Yeah, me neither. Any for tomorrow? Nope. Nope. Yeah, me neither. Oh, wait a second. I got a 3 p.m. tomorrow with Mr. Kim. That's me, Smitty. I need a fade. Oh, good. Well, I'll see you tomorrow at 3. You know, I think we barely had any business yesterday, too. Yeah, you guys don't think it's a little weird that uh, all our business is gone? You know, I thought the same thing when I was walking by the new dope phase this morning. The new dope fade. Yeah, they opened one right down the street. Had a bunch of our regular customers in there. Malcolm, Martin, Denzel. That place is popping. Oh man. Dope fades is stealing all our customers. Is that what they do? Shame, shame, shame. Damn, man, you think they hiring? <laughs> Smitty, you were right. I just came back from Dope Fades. Yes, they do have all of our customers. Oh, those low-down, dirty dogs. Let's go slash their tires. Oh, Smitty. Can't blame Dope Fades for undercutting our prices. <laughs> no pun intended. What pun? Uh, undercutting, Smitty. It's like, uh, cutting hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Good one, Jay. Yeah, well, Jay, man, why don't we just, uh, match our prices with theirs? Oh, we can't afford to do that. They, on the other hand, are a big chain. So they can lose money on their cuts until we, the little guy, goes out of business. Then they can jack up all their prices all over again. Then we go right back into business. Yeah, but I don't want to go out of business in the first place. Hey! Hey, oh. I've got a big problem. Yeah, sure, not right now. We're, we're kind of busy. Busy? You ain't got no customers in there. Yeah, well, that's the problem. I don't fade have taken all of them. And that's my problem, too. They are also stealing all of my customers. Oh. Hey, Cheryl, what they doing is undercutting our prices. Exactly. See? Undercut, like in cutting hair. That's a pun. You get it? Yes, maybe I got it. But thank you. Oh. If y'all will excuse me, I am going over to Dope Fades, and if I see any of my regular customers, I'm slashing tires. <laughs> I'm not bailing her out. What are we gonna do about dope fades? Gosh. Well, I, for one, am going to look at the bright side. There's always a silver lining. It, what is the silver lining in losing business? Well, I have a little more free time. My daughter's back in town, so I can spend it with her. I didn't oh. know you had a daughter, Smitty. She's my pride and joy, Kenny. She's about your age. Her name is Stella. Stella. Oh, Stella, that's a nice name. How'd you pick it? Well, I was watching TV one day, and I heard somebody yelling, Stella! I thought it sounded nice. Yeah. <laughs> that must have been streetcar named Desire. No, that wasn't it. No, that's <laughs> definitely it. Marlon Brando, he, he, he screams, Stella! Stella! In a streetcar named Desire. No, that wasn't it. You know what? I know what it was. It was The Simpsons. They did an episode called A Streetcar Named Marge. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Minnie, that, that probably was it. So how long is uh, Stella going to be in town for? Oh, indefinitely. She oh. transferred to a medical school here. What? Your daughter's going to school to be a doctor? I'm so proud. A surgeon. <laughs> She's studying neurology. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, you, Smitty, had a daughter named Stella going to school to be a brain surgeon? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Are you sure she's yours? 80%. Pasta piñata and simity for you, Venice and lasagna. Mabel, look like you done hit it out the park yeah. again. Mabel, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How do you stay in business? I mean, uh, there are countless cheaper places to eat around here. 
fast food? <laughs> Please, Jay. My customers know my food is better. Mm -hmm. They know it's prepared with love, and I'm going to serve them dishes from exotic places. Why, yes. They worry dope fades going to put us out of business with their low prices. Mm. Oh, well, let me ask you this. Mm. Are your haircuts better than dope fades? Hmm. I would say they are. Um, I would say they are. Come on, Jay. You got to have more confidence. You got to be like, hell yeah, my haircuts are better. Hell yeah, our haircuts are better. <laughs> well, how do you know your food is better? Because I have a secret ingredient, and I tell you what it is. Yeah, but... I know. You'd have to kill me. And Ken. Yeah. Enjoy your meal, fellas. <laughs> Daddy! Stella, there you are! Oh. And Uncle Jay. Stella! <laughs> Good to see you. Well, look at you. You're all grown. I haven't seen you in forever. Here you go, baby girl. Have a seat. <laughs> Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I was, uh... You were what? Uh, what's, what's that, Jay? Uh, you were giving me the reason why you were late. Uh, because I was seeing a beautiful... Uh, what are y'all talking about again? Kenny, this is my daughter, Stella. Stella, this is Jay's son, Kenny. I didn't know you had a son. Yeah, well, it's a long story. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Kenny. Yes, uh, so I heard you're uh, studying to become a, a brain surgeon. Yeah, um, it was a really tough decision. In undergrad, I was equally interested in neurology as I was in aerospace engineering. Aerospace engineering? <laughs> you mean to tell me you, Smitty's daughter, was deciding on becoming either a brain surgeon or a rocket scientist? That's right. My mother's a dummy. Stella gets all the smarts from me. <laughs> uh, so, Stella, uh, where are you staying in town? I was going to crash my dad's till I found a place of my own. Which is tough, because my place is small as it is. And they're doing construction in the building. And the exterminator always coming in doing God knows what. Yeah, that is tough. Sure would be nice if I had a best friend, got a big, spacious condo that my daughter could stay at for a while. At least till she find a place for home. Yeah, that would be nice. Jay! What? Tell her she can stay with us. As a matter of fact, sell us your seat on my bed. Say what? Uh, I mean, she should take my bed. I'll sleep on the couch. Stella, what do you think? Well, I mean, if it's not an inconvenience to Uncle Jay and Kenny. <laughs> hey, well, then it's settled. Uh, Stella, you are staying with us. Thanks, guys. Yeah. This is going to be fun. <laughs> now, will someone tell me where the restroom is? Oh, yes. it's right over there. I'll yeah. show you. Man, you ain't got to walk into the bathroom. It's right there. I'm walking my dog to the bathroom <laughs> so that don't nothing happen to her on the way. You got a problem with that? Oh, no, no, not at all, man. Stella, Stella, wait for Daddy. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, Kenny? I think I'm in love with Smitty's daughter. Oh, man, you trip. Hey, what you watching? Uh, Sports Center. But uh, I think there's a documentary on butterflies on the Science Channel if you want to watch that. No. <laughs> It's kind of boring. I'd rather watch Sports Center's top ten. Wait, I didn't have you pegged as a type of girl that likes sports. What? So because I'm in medical school, you automatically assume that my interests were in books, science, history, and stuff like that? I mean, well, to be perfectly honest, <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Well, since you're a barber, what if I just assume that all of your interests were in sports, cigars, girls, and stuff like that? Uh, I would say you're pretty much spot on. <laughs> I mean. You add music to that, and that's pretty much a complete list. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What kind of music you into? I'm into all kinds of music, but uh, I think I like hip-hop the best, you know, because I've been known to drop a few bars every now and then, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, check me out. If I could change the world for the better, there wouldn't be no wars over oil and cheddar. I'm cheesing. For no apparent reason, the family is grieving because the soldier is leaving. I'm on the road to possibly come home bleeding, or even worse, no longer breathing. What we needing, it seems to be more than a seasonal greeting, and I ain't picking up the phone for a psychic reading. If I could change the world for the better, there wouldn't be no wars over oil and cheddar. Stella. <laughs> hey, Kenny, you're dope. I had no idea. Well, you know, I've been known to put out a few mixtapes back in my military days, but 
Now I just leave it to the new schoolers like a Drake, Kendrick Lamar, and a Big Paul, you know? You mean Big Sean? No, no, I mean Big Paul. He comes by the shop every now and then. Boy's got skills. Okay, well, what about J. Cole? Oh, man, I definitely get down with J. Cole. Well, he's in town all week. Now, I'm sure the tickets are sold out for tonight, but you want to try to see if we can get some scalp tickets? Man, let's roll. Hey, uh, but if you happen to get caught by the cops, you don't know me, OK? I'm just saying, brother can't. Yeah, we're going to have a good time tonight. I know that. <clears throat> Still is not picking up my calls. I'm calling her again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, man. You done called her 19 times in five minutes. And maybe she's not next to her phone. What do you think happened to her? Nothing. Nothing happened to her. You, you're just overprotective. Oh, you're right, Jay. I just, I just, I haven't seen her for a few hours. I get worried. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Well, uh, we're closed for the day. Uh, but I could pencil you in for tomorrow. <laughs> what you say that's so funny, Jay? Nothing. Yo. But, hey, man, what's so funny? <laughs> it's just, I'm sorry. It's, it's the idea that I would be getting the cut from here. Ah, it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, oh, I'm being rude, aren't I? <laughs> I haven't introduced myself. The name is Parker Jones. <laughs> you heard him? I never heard of him. What, you related to Quincy? James Earl? Star? No, no. <laughs> I'm Parker Jones, the owner of Dope Fades. Come on down to Dope Fades, yeah. <laughs> Ever heard of that? Well, this is Jay Weaver. Yeah. And he's the owner of Jay's Barbershop. We do them cuts. Uh, dope Fades, let me, uh, Dope Fades, no, let me. That's that Jay yeah, trying to steal our business. You know, the one right over there on the corner on Avalon. The, the big one with the I big side. Smitty. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I recognize the rival barbershop in the neighborhood. Barbershop? <laughs> Dope Phase is more than a barbershop. It's an experience, brother. We got everything yes. going on. <laughs> so it's a fad. You see, sooner or later, everybody's going to come running back here. A fad? Yeah. Okay, uh, so that's why I'm opening up a, a new store nearly every month. <laughs> a fad. Right? Oh, no, no. That's why I'm putting local barbershops out of business left and right. Yeah. Well, I'm glad your chain is doing well. So why are you here? Well, actually, I, I want to ask a simple would you rather question. Oh, I love would you rather questions. I got one. Would you rather have x-ray vision or magnified hearing? Shut up, Smitty. <laughs> All right. What is it that you want to ask me? I'm listening. Okay, would you rather go out of business or retire early? <laughs> Here's my card. On the back, I wrote down how much I'd buy you out for. So uh, think about it. It's a good price. Wow. I think I'd rather have X-ray vision. So then I can see how much we get ready to make. We. Morning, Jay. Take a look at this number. Ooh, that's a pretty big number there, Jay. Yeah, that's how much I could get for selling the barbershop. Damn, you gonna do it? I don't know, man. I tried to talk to you last night, but you never came home. Where were you? Oh, yeah, I guess I got home kind of late last night. Lost track of time. <laughs> Me and Stella went to go check out this J. Cole concert. Wait, you and Stella went to a concert together? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't nothing like that, man. We we both just happened to listen to the same type of music and enjoy spending time together listening to said music. Yeah, well, I wouldn't let Smitty know that. Oh, what's up? Well, you know how Smitty gets oh, here. And God. here he is. Where's Stella? Y'all seen Stella? Y yeah, I seen Stella. Oh, you seen her? Um, no, I mean, not like that. I mean, just around the condo. How come she ain't been answering my calls? I don't know. Maybe she... Went to bed early. Oh, she went to bed early, huh? She went to bed early at the condo, huh? Huh? Well, let me ask you this. How come when I called the phone company to find out if her cell phone was working, they said the cell tower that the phone pinged off of wasn't the cell tower near your condo? how that happen, huh? 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 We, we don't, don't know. know. <laughs> yeah, Smitty. <laughs> Just relax, man. Maybe she went out with her friends, huh? I, I did see her this morning. She, 
She is alive and well. You saw her this morning. This Good. morning. That's all I need to know. She's all alive right. and well. Alive. Anything happen to my baby girl? Anything? No, no, Ooh, no. God, I'm going to reach both of y'all. I'm going to get in there and squeeze no, 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 your no, no, kidney until no. the stones <laughs> come out. If you don't know me. You don't have to. Whoa, whoa. I got a whole no. Okay. Hey. Oh, she just texted me. We cool. So he offered to buy you out too? Yeah, that cocky little jerk. Here's how much he offered me. How much did he offer you? <laughs> Wait for it. Ta da. What? Why do he offer you so much more than he offered me? Well, maybe because I run my business just a little bit better than you run yours. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, maybe he just has uh, bad business sense. Oh, it's bad business That's sense. That's what it is. My salon is always packed. We are always me? packed. No, we have so much always. clientele. We are oh, oh, the What's the commotion? What is this? Yeah. That's how much this guy is offering to buy the barbershop and Cheryl's beauty salon. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. And we thinking about it. <laughs> you thinking about it? Yeah. What's to think about? Take the deal. What? Matter of fact, get him over here so I can Mabelize him <laughs> and find out if he buying up restaurants, too. Uh, Mabel, you would sell the restaurant? Hell to the year. For this kind of money? In a heartbeat. Uh, what about all the years that you put into this? I put years in yeah. so I could make some money. Mm -hmm. And this definitely qualifies as more than just some money. <laughs> Powerball money. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, wouldn't you feel like your life is missing some sort of purpose? Are you implying that my purpose in life is to serve all these ungrateful people who haven't learned how to properly tip? Oh, I find another purpose in life. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I'd be like a, 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 a particle physicist. What? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I'll just lay out on a beach somewhere. Do it. And get all the guys what? with Magic Mike to be fanning me. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go in the back and get my 9999. Oh. Let your go, sir? Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, all right. Easy now. Take the deal, fools. Take the deal. You know what, Mabel might have a point. Uh, no, come on, I've sold some businesses, and you know, you kind of got to know when to let go. Yeah, but I don't want to let go. Yeah, I started this barbershop. I built it all by myself. I, I, I'm not one to give up. But is it giving up? Well, it certainly seems that way. Well, maybe all these years that you put into it are mm -hmm. finally paying off. Come on, you've earned this. Yeah, actually, I, I just don't like the idea that snotty-nosed, uh, uh, dope-faded, you know, punk winning out. <laughs> But oh, this is a business decision. I hear you. Since when does Jay Weaver allow his emotion to affect his business decisions? Hell, I gave you your own beauty salon so I can sleep with you, so... <laughs> I mean... Mabel? Mabel? Jack? Hey. Here you go, baby. All right. <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Three hundred dollars? Oh no! Well, I know y'all business now, so I know you can't afford it. So just pay the bill and leave a sister a nice tip. Not too pushing much to head. I got a tip for her wig is perfect. Man, well, I'm still thinking about last night's concert. No, you know the songs are still playing in my head. You know, it's like. Well, you know who's the town next week? Who? Little Mike. Oh, man, I'm a used Run the Jewels fan. We gotta go. Already got the tickets online. Wow. You are amazing. Well, I mean, it's the least I can do for putting you out of your room. Hey, man, it's no big deal. You're like family. Ew. Like family. I mean, you know, you're like a very attractive family member that I am not at all related to. Mm. Stella, I brought your... Oh, see. Now I got to kill you. Oh. This is not what it looks like, Smitty. What it looks like is I brought my daughter pajamas I made with my bare hands, and you got your hands all over her. OK, it is what it looks like. See, time to die. Daddy, stop! Daddy, oh, Stella, stop you stay out of this thing. I got nothing to do with you. Don't you think I have a little something to do with this? You guys need to stop <laughs> it. Smitty, it's 
she, 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 she came to me. She's thirsty. Are Dare you, you say something like that about my daughter? My daughter never do nothing Daddy, like that. Kenny is a good guy. <laughs> Kenny was a good guy. Be a nice way to start his eulogy after I murdered him. Uncle Joseph died. You don't want nothing to kiss my daughter. You don't want nothing to die. Hey, don't you see how ridiculous you're being? I'm not being ridiculous. I'm being protective. Daddy, there's protective, and then there's you. Newsflash, I've had boyfriends before. And I've even kissed some of them, too. Give me their names and numbers so I go over and rip their lips off. Daddy, I love you. But you're going to have to lighten up. Now, would you rather me date a stranger or a good guy like Kenny that you already know? Baby girl. No matter how good a man is, if he's a lover of women, you can't believe a word he says. <laughs> but I guess that's the lesson you have to learn on your own. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, let me get in on this. Duh, oh. <laughs> Mrs. Smitty, can I, uh, borrow your clip aside? Wouldn't you rather just wait till I raise some clip aside and steal it out from under me? Mrs. Smitty, that doesn't make any sense. Hey, gentlemen. Hey. I have big news. <laughs> yeah, great. Kenny got some big news, too. Yeah, I know. He's dating Stella. What, you knew? Yeah. Did you know? Did everybody here know? Is this a conspiracy? Yeah, yeah Smitty, will you calm down? I, I, he's dating your daughter. I slept with his mother. Everybody's even. Could we just move on? Baby, please move on. Hey, what's the big news? Uh, I'm selling the shop. What? What? How could you? I can't believe that. For the money. I can believe that. <laughs> so what's my cut? Pun intended. Hey, good use of a pun, Smitty. Thank you, Kenny. What? You don't get a cut? Yeah, and this is my business. What? I've been here for... <laughs> Do I at least get severance pay? Fifty bucks. Deal. No take backs. Ooh. Did you guys see the police down the street? No. What happened? They done shut down Dope. What? What, what? what happened? Turns out the store was just in front, <laughs> and that the reason why they can afford those cheap prices is because they was doing haircuts in the front and selling dope in the back. Damn! <laughs> that explains everything. I knew they had to be high to think their haircuts were better than ours. <laughs> Hilarious. <Yeah. laughs> well, I guess this means we don't get to retire early. Yeah, I guess not. Do I still get my 50 bucks? No. Ooh, <laughs> ooh,